Ugh, my camera's shaking. Crochet hooks. So next up, crochet hooks. everyone, I'm Brittany from Just Be Crafty. If you're new here, welcome, and if not, thank you so much for coming back. Today's video is going to be a fun one. It's going to be an Amazon favorites of all of my favorite knit and crochet items that I've ordered from Amazon over the years. So let's go ahead and get started. First up is an organizational item. It's actually these bags, and it's how I like to store my whips or works in progress, or if I have a certain yarn that I purchased for a product that I want to make sure that I keep all of them together, I'd like to get these bags and so these particular ones are reusable produce bags and they come in all sorts of sizes this is like a mid-size one and it's holding like three large skeins plus like a little project and they're really nice because they have a drawstring closed it just keeps my project in one place that way it's not getting tangled up with a whole bunch of other projects I like to use these bags so in addition to these I also have I also like to use garment laundry bags those work really well and those come in a number of sizes so like this one is like oh this is a really big one and so this one I'm actually storing all of the fixins for um for an like for an afghan this one okay this is a smaller one a little bit more um, of a manageable size to show you on camera but see they come in all different sizes and they zip open and zip closed and it's just really great for keeping everything organized. My next favorite are these yarn needles. These are by Clover and they come in a little case and I believe, I think there was only two. I have two in here now. I use these all the time and I lose them all the time as well but it is really nice that it comes in this little case. When you're done using it it's important to put it back in the case and put the cap on so you don't lose them like me. But anyway, these are great. They're gold in color and they have like a little angled tip. And so it makes it really easy for when you're trying to weave in your ends. I really like that angled tip. Another option are these straight ones and these are silver. And these ones are by Susan Bates. I believe that both these, the Clover and the Susan Bates, I believe that they are a similar price point. You can get these, they're both under $5. I think they're really they're like three to four dollars but I'll have all of that information I'll probably like have it somewhere on the screen um, as I'm talking to you but the Susan Bates ones I think you get like a pack of like four I want to say I know it's more than three I think it's less than five so four sounds like a good number but these are really great I like to have as many of these things I usually actually just like keep these in this case with it um just be <sighs> My cap just went flying, but I usually like to keep these all together because these are really easy to lose and um, will fall through the sides of your couch or wherever you like to crochet. So um, these are just, they're really great to have and I highly suggest them. Next up I have our little dainty scissors. So these are probably called like embroidery floss scissors. I'm not exactly sure what they're called. These are like, they're antique looking. I love them, they're so pretty. So this came in a pack of two and I believe it was around $15, between 12 to $15 not too bad especially because you do get two um so let's look at these first pair first they're really cute there's such cute detail on these with like a whole bunch of flowers cute and they're really really sharp so they're really great for cutting like after you weave in your ends and you go to snip that little tail you can get it really close to your work so I really really like these and then this is the other pair that it comes with and this looks like a some sort of bird like a herring like a herring I would say and it's just really cute where the little hinges is the is the eye and then it looks like its little wings are flapping when you use the scissors and they also they photograph really well that's another reason why I like these is they they photograph really well you'll see these in my pictures a lot up next are stitch markers and so a lot of my patterns I call for stitch markers and I have a whole bunch these like the yarn needles they're really easy to lose so unless you have a designated space that you're really really dedicated and disciplined about to put them back when you're done with them they're really easy to lose so it's great to have a whole bunch in your inventory these ones I'm going to start with my absolute favorite ones I do suggest some other ones but these are my absolute favorite and these are grab a colored one they come in they come in a pack I don't know how many come in a pack but they're these little open ring stitch rings so you can just like slide it into a stitch to mark your stitch I really really like these so the pack that you get and I'll have that linked I, I don't remember how many come in a pack but you get pink white and blue little stitch rings but I love these so I'll show you why they're my favorite but let's go into these ones next so this is a really really great set and these are closed stitch rings I don't remember 
remember how many come in this set. I will have that linked somewhere, but this, this was very inexpensive. Um, I want to say it was like around $5. I don't quite remember, but again, I'll, I'll let you know, but these are really great. So you actually close them. You can close them. So they lock in place. These can slip off, but I mean, honestly, like the opening is so small. They really don't. I do prefer these just because if you're, let's say you're working in rounds and you have to replace your stitch marker at the end of each round and you're working on a smaller project. So you're getting around your rounds pretty quick. It's kind of annoying to slow down and unlatch it, pull it out, you know, do your stitch, put it back in and latch it. With these, you just, you pull it out and you stick it in and it's that easy. Both they're really great options and it's really down to preference. I have, I like to have both on hand, but totally up to you. Next up is for helping with checking your gauge. And yes, checking gauge is very important. If you're not doing it, you should be doing it for like every project. But anyway, it's this gauge checker and it's the Susan Bates Knit Check. It says knit check on it. And it's not just for knitting, it's for crocheting too. And I really love it because most gauge that you measure is going to be four by four inch square. And while the knit check, it has like this like little opening that you could do for like two inches. I really don't use this for checking gauge. I use, you know, the actual ruler. And some people might use a tape measure, but honestly a tape measure is just not going to be as accurate as like, even if you had like a regular standard ruler, that would work really well too. But this is just awesome for checking gauge. Also, if you're a knitter and you have a whole bunch of knitting needles that you aren't sure what the size, you can put your knitting needle into each of these holes to figure out which size it is. This is super helpful. I use this every day, whether I'm knitting and crocheting. I have two of them because actually I thought that I lost one of them. I thought I, I had, well, I had one. I thought I lost it. And so I ordered another one and then I found it. So now I have two. And then actually recently I thought I lost both of them and I was about to order a new one. And then I, I literally just found this. I use this all the time and I want to say it's around four or five dollars and it's probably will be like one of the best four or five dollars you ever spend so yes gate checker you need one next up is another knitting item and that is this boy interchangeable set if you're a knitter, this is a must have, especially if you're into knitting garments and you're knitting a lot of things in the round. This thing is, it's great because it comes in, some of my stuff is in use, so not everything is even in here. So I do apologize for that, but I'll show you um, as much as I can. So this is what it looks like. So that's what it looks like. And it ranges from size two all the way up to a size 15 needle. So that's a whole bunch of knitting needles. And this is a little bit of an investment. So I highly suggest that you either wait for it to go on sale on Amazon, because I think it retails for about I want to say when I bought it, it was about $75, but don't pay $75 for it. I mean, unless you like absolutely have to, but it does go on sale on Amazon for like, I think I got mine for like $45. And also they have these at like Michael's and Joann's, at least like the last time I checked, you can use your coupon, like a 40 or 50% off coupon. So don't pay full price for this. I mean, I, I definitely think it's worth it, but I suggest waiting to use a coupon or waiting for it to go on sale and then snag it up. So what you're not seeing that it in here that it does come with are cords that actually attach. So this is for a circular knitting needle set, which I did not say yet. So what you do is, so like these are size 10 needles and it comes with different size cords. And so you twist the cords in to make your circular needles. And so I'm gonna show you an example. This is a different brand. This is a great brand, by the way. This is the Clover Takomi brand and these are bamboo knitting needles which I really love these too but honestly the boy set um if you're just getting started the boy set is really it's just a really good place to start I don't know if the bamboo comes like in an interchangeable set these I purchased separately but how you use it is pretty much the same so to switch off the knitting needles it's as easy as seriously just they're like metal little edges and you just twist them on it's it's really as it's really as simple as that. That's all you do and you do that for both ends and it comes with varying sizes and I'll list the size range that it goes up to because it goes from like really small to like you know you can make a whole sweater in the round so it's really great and it comes with also these like little tools so these little guys uh, these will help you twist it so that way it doesn't come loose. For the longest time I didn't know what, what these were so if you get this set you'll understand what I'm talking about but there's like a little hole you'll see a little hole inside of the 
the middle part of the cord where you twist to attach to your knitting needle and you use this um, to kind of have leverage to get it as you know to twist it as tight as possible so that they don't untwist while you're knitting and so when I first got these I had that problem where my needles they kept like they kept untwisting uh, as I was working I was like what the heck that's so annoying but that's what these are for and then this also this is like a little rubber circle and it helps you use like the two of these things to help like get your needles twisted on the cords. I love this. And I love that it comes in a little case. We didn't really talk about the case. It zippers closed. It zippers closed and it says bully on the front. And it's like, I highly doubt this is real leather. It's probably like a faux leather. It's red and black trimming. It's really nice and totally worth the investment. Next up, let's talk about Tunisian crochet. So if you've been wanting to get into Tunisian crochet, here's a couple items that I suggest that you use to get started. This was my very first Tunisian hook. And so it basically just looks like a really long crochet hook. So the difference is that it just, it looks like a knitting needle with a little crochet hook end on it. And with Tunisian crochet, it, your stitches tend to get really, really tight. So it's good to get, so if you usually use like, I don't know, like a five millimeter crochet hook and you use like medium four weight yarn or a DK size yarn, this is a really good size to get just because you want to size up your hook one to two sizes. So if a yarn calls for like a five millimeter hook, you'd want to size like one to two sizes larger than that when using a Tunisian hook just because because you tend to work, the stitches tend to be very tight, so you want to use a larger hook than what you would typically use. So if you just want to get your feet wet and you're not ready for like, you know, a whole set, this is a really great place to start. This is another one that I have. This is like, it has like a flexible end to it. So, cause this is, this is rather long. So, you know, it requires a little bit of elbow room with using it. This one might be a little bit more comfortable for you just because it has this flexible cord end. But I believe this is the same size. Actually, this is a six millimeter and it's a US size 10. And this is by Susan Bates. I really like this hook too. And it's one of my go-to hooks. If you've gotten into Tunisian crochet and you want to, to kind of level up your game a little bit and you want to venture into having a few different sizes, I strongly suggest this set right here. These are the Knitter's Pride Dreams Cro uh, Tunisian crochet hook set. I really, really like this. The size ranges from an eight millimeter all the way down to a three and a half millimeter. Chances are though, the only thing is I'm probably going to be like using the eight, the six and a half, the six and the five and a half probably the most, probably with the eight and the six and a half the most, but it's a really beautiful set. They're wood, they're stained wood, and they come in different colors. It's super similar. I don't know if you've ever seen, what brand is it? Knit Picks. Yes, Knit Picks. Uh, Knit Picks has a really pretty line of wooden crochet hooks and wooden knitting needles, and they almost have, like, you can really see the green in the wood, and they're really smooth, and they're just painted these, like, really pretty colors. It's a gorgeous set. That. And it's similar to the boy interchangeable um, knitting needles where you attach a cord to it uh, so that it actually it looks like this one. So you can change the size of the project you're working on. So you can actually, you could attach all of these cords together to make like a really long afghan or just use one of these cords. Um, it's really great. So actually I'm going to show you what I was talking about with the other one. So all you do is you take your hook in this and we're just going to twist it on and if you look closely you can see that little hole do you see that it's not focusing but anyway this little guy so these come in it and these by the way this is what you use to attach the cords together to make a really long cord so i'm just going to put those back in there so you stick this little thing in to the little hole like that you stick it through and then you just use that to get it locked in place and then, so now you'll have an open end and now you just put the end on. We'll say actually you have two options. You can either attach another cord and you would use one of these little extenders, attach it on. Or if this is the length of cord that you want, you just attach this on, just attach that on, stick this through the little hole and just make sure you got that twisted on really well so it doesn't come off. And so that's, whoops. 
So that's how you use that. And then now you can work your Tunisian stitches. My last Tunisian item that I recommend is this Tunisian crochet stitch book. And this one is volume one. There's a couple of volumes. I don't remember how many volumes. I know that there's at least another one. It's called Tunisian Crochet Basic, Tunisian Crochet Basic and Textured Stitches, volume one. And it's by Petra Tornak Zimmerman. And it's just a really small, thin paperback book. There's only 35 pages in it. And it has, let me you see how many stitches does it have oh it has it has a couple patterns in the back too it has 50 stitches so 50 different stitches so this is just a great book to have on your bookshelf you know you can kind of switch it up from simple stitch once you graduate from learning how to teach and crochet next up let's start talking about crochet hooks I'm having a hard time holding all of these. So these did not all come in a set. I bought all of these separately. And these ones, let's, let's just look at one of them. These are the Susan Bates Bamboo Handle Hooks. And I love these hooks. They come in all sorts of sizes. I've gotten all of these separately. Any crochet hook size you need, you can likely find it in the bamboo handle. Um, they're just, they're beautiful hooks. They're super comfortable. I love the, like the bamboo grip. And they photograph really nice. So you'll see these in a lot of my photos and I always get questions on them but yeah they're just they're these they're the Susan Bates bamboo handles these are always go-to hooks and I I constantly find myself grabbing these next up is the boy ergonomic hook set this one you get all of these hooks and I want to say that the price point is around $35 I believe and you get you get 12 hooks which is a really great deal these are really nice I do find myself grabbing uh, these hooks a lot as well um just because they're super comfortable they have like a rubberized nice grippy like soft touch handle and they range all the way from from size what's the smallest one they range all the way from a 2.75 millimeter all the way up to a 10. The only thing annoying about this hook set is I usually never go smaller than a five, maybe a four and a half, maybe a three and a half if I'm doing amigurumi projects, but I, I really don't do that stuff that often. So I really don't have a need for the smaller hooks. My need is mostly for the larger hooks. And I feel like a lot of sets, they include those little tiny hooks. Honestly, I'm probably never really going to use them. It's a really great set. If you're used to using a hook like this, just like your, you know, your average straight crochet hook and you're looking to upgrade your hooks i highly suggest this set it's affordable and you're getting a whole bunch of hooks one thing i will mention that i don't like about these hooks but honestly it doesn't stop me if i need a five millimeter hook I, you know, I'm just, I'm going to pick this one up because I, I honestly, I really don't care that much, but they do have a seam where like on the, like the grip, you see how you can see that seam. Yeah. It, you can feel it. And it, I don't know, I, it, I probably could take something sharp and trim that off if I really, really wanted to. But I mean, I've had these hooks for a couple years now, I would say, and maybe even longer. It's fine. Um, but it does annoy me a little bit, but these are, re these are really, really great hooks and they're just, they're super comfortable to hold and I constantly find myself grabbing these too. Next up is going to be my absolute favorite hook set. So these are the hooks that I grab for first and these are the Clover Amore set. And I will say this is definitely an investment. I think that this retails for, I've seen it, I don't know. This retails for maybe about like $80 and you get two, four, six, eight. You get 10 hooks, I believe. I could be missing a couple of hooks. Hooks always tend to get thrown into project bags and you know, wherever they go. But this is a really great set. The tips are like uh, a brushed chrome is I think the best way that I could describe it. And it is just the smoothest, like aluminum, they're aluminum. It's, it's just, it's so smooth and it's just like buttery smooth when you go to crochet. They're my absolute favorite hooks. And so I always look for these first. So if I'm looking for my five and a half millimeter hook, I look for this one first. If I can't find it, then I grab one of my other ones. I believe you can buy them separate. So if you're new to crochet, I wouldn't suggest you buy this unless 
buy this set unless you know for sure that you're going to be crocheting for a while because honestly I mean it's just it is it it is an investment for this set but I will suggest wait for it to go on sale either on Amazon or if you're in the U.S. and you can go to Michael's or Joann's and they have like a 40 or better yet a 50% off coupon and then I think that this is a really great set to get. And then last but not least I wanted to include this to be honest I haven't really gotten a chance to use this set all too much but this is a little set that I got off of Amazon obviously and it comes in this cute little pouch and you get a set of crochet hooks that look a lot like the Clover Amour. I will say the the oops in this little bag the seams on them on the side are much more like definitely trimmed so it's definitely not as bad as the boy ergonomic set with the seams so the handle is closer to the clover amour set but the actual the actual aluminum part uh the crochet hook part while it looks like that brushed aluminum like the clover amour it really handles like a little bit more like the boy ergonomic both they work really smoothly honestly Honestly, these ones are probably even just like a little bit more um, texturized. I think that the Boy Ergonomics set does work a little bit smoother, but for the price point, I believe this set, it, so it comes with all of these hooks, which you get, you get nine Am I right? Nine? I might be missing one. I might have dropped one, but I'm thinking nine crochet hooks. You get this set of yarn needles. You get this little holder with yarn needles in it, and you get you get nine yarn needles. Some are really small. They do vary in size, and they kind of have sharp tips. They look just like the Susan Bates ones that I was talking about earlier, but these have a little bit of sharper tips, which is nice so you can really get in there when you're trying to weave in your ends. So it comes with this. And then you got this little set of nine little stitch markers. And, and of course, like the little the little travel case that it comes in. So which I mean it's it's cute. It's really cute. It has like it has lace on one side and it just it zips closed. There's a little bit of fraying on it if I you know if I'm being honest. But it's it's a really, really great set. So if you're new to crochet and you're just learning, I think this is a really great set to get just because you get the little case, you get the markers, and you get all of these crochet hooks. And it, it was under $20. I think it was like $15 plus the yarn needles. So that's really that's everything you need to get started you know uh, you know except for a pair of scissors you obviously need a pair of scissors because you're going to need to cut your yarn at some point this is a really great set to get if you're just getting started and that's it that's all of my amazon knit and crochet favorites i really hope you enjoyed this video if you did be sure to let me know by giving the video a thumbs up and leaving me a comment down below thank you so much for watching bye